Hey there my lovelies, welcome back to the channel, Life of a Ninja Babe. My name is Hijere, it's good to have you here. It's been a minute, like it's been forever since I actually made a video and I don't know if I'm audible enough but hey guys, so for those of you who are, you know, frequent to this channel my real subscribers will always keep up with my videos if you have not turned on your post notification i don't know what you're waiting for turn on your post notification so that you always get notified whenever i post a video so why i'm saying this is because for those of my subscribers who are always following up on this channel know that i relocated so for those of you who don't know i am a nigerian youtuber based in the uk i do everything skincare beauty lifestyle and i noticed recently that or rather i noticed that my videos vlogs on my travel didn't really get much views on like my skincare videos so it's obvious that my viewers my subscribers or people who view my videos prefer my skincare videos so obviously since i'll definitely be going back to my skincare videos but if you want me to continue with the skincare video please leave me a comment down below and if you also want me to incorporate two of them like during my vlogs like my travel vlogs to the uk you know lifestyle my life in the uk videos please to also do that you can let me know in the comment section or if you just want my skincare videos please do let me know in the comment section but do not forget to subscribe hit the red subscribe button down below and also share this video okay so for many of you who are new to this channel my name is judith yes and i recently moved to the uk from nigeria i do basically skincare videos but recently i just did a very slight switch to you know filming my life here in the uk and you know just to tell you guys what i'm up to recently but i noticed that my views dropped like i said so probably you guys are not interested in what is going on with me here in the uk but hey we move so there is today i'll be talking about how you can use rose water here is a picture to clear dark spot. I made a skincare. Sorry, my dark is saying skincare. I made a video on um, how you can use rose water. Best way you can use rose water. The benefits of rose water to the skin. Various ways you can use rose water. But I did not emphasize on how you can use it to treat dark spots. Yes, you can use rose water to actually clear dark spots. But like I said, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Okay. My analytics keep showing me that half, more than half of the people who view my videos are not subscribed. Why? Not fair. Please hit the very subscribe button, okay? So that oh, you join the family. There are ways you can use with water to clear your dark spots, to give you a glowy skin. And I've been using my rose water, but because since I relocated to the UK, I have not fully settled like. I've just been, you know, all about, you know, trying to do this and that, so I've not just been able to, like, put things together totally or completely, but um, I would have actually showed you my bottle of rose water, the empty bottle, I just exhausted the last one, so I discarded my last rose water bottle, so if not, I would have showed you guys how it looks like, but if you really want to know, like, I've inserted a picture here, but I also have a video on the benefits of rose water so you can watch that video to actually understand and have the idea of the kind of rose water I'm talking about but hey you can use any rose water as long as it's pure rose water is not the mixture of anyone just pure rose water okay so let's dive into the video right now so how can you use rose water or what are the best ways to use okay, rose water now if you want or rather use rose water for your dark spots quite dark spot like i said i've been using rose water on my face since i came to this country this video is not filtered i used to have very dark spot here and if you remember guys there are times i was having like spots like i had black spot please sorry for the flash like i'm filming the video at night so you see and the sunburn i have is gradually clearing up i just said noticing this because obviously i'm about to go into that time of the month but I know that by tomorrow it's going to dry up because I've already used a combination of rose water to be able to, to, be, to like clean it off so very soon it's going to dry up so how can you use rose water to dry up and to clear your dark spots and get a glowing skin first how to use a rose water to clear your spots is if you have a face cream okay um 
Okay, my face cream is not here, but if you have a face cream, a very good active face cream. Let's say for instance you have visco face cream or a very good brightening face cream, okay? Obviously, like I always say in my videos, a lot of face creams can be very active on the face. Some will give you a different shade from your body. You might use some face creams and your face becomes really lighter. Some face cream might be too active that even makes your face get red. Some might be like reacting to your skin to cause you like rashes or maybe even pimples, red pimples. Now, in such situations, you don't need to describe your face cream. What you do is take rose water, buy a bottle of rose water. It's even essential for you to have a bottle of rose water among your skincare routine or in your makeup on your cosmetic table. It's very important to always have rose water in your skincare among the skincare products so just a case and um, a teaspoon of rose water depending on the size you know most sizes of face creams are small now if you notice that the activeness of that cream is quite high you can use two teaspoons two teaspoons of rose water like the tiny teaspoons for tea if you use two of it drop it inside that face cream mix it together and use on your face now that's number one way you can use rose water for that spot if you are actually using a face cream like i said or you're trying to treat dark spots and you're using a particular product that helps to treat dark spots you can inculcate rose water into it take rose water add few drops like i said or a teaspoon or two teaspoons depending on the size of whatever product you're using to treat that dark spot especially if they are creams like um, face creams or anti-spot creams that you're using to treat and dark spot on your face add few drops of rose water in them and apply all over your face do this morning and night but do not forget to use your sunscreen during the day and at night after you've washed your face you use your mixed cream like the, the rose water you have put into your cream use it directly all over your face and you see do this frequently for more than two weeks and trust me you're gonna see a great result then secondly, if you are also using a face cleanser, if you have a good face cleanser, for example, I have I have this clearing toner. Yes, and I've been using this, you can see it's almost finished. So I said I got it from my cosmetic rack there. I've been using this clearing toner for almost six months. And why did it last me this long is because I mixed it with rose water. Now, you must not be using clearance, you might be using any other rose, um, any other face cleanser and you feel like probably it's not doing the work for you. Probably the face toner you are using is not giving you that glowy effect you want. Now, I'm using this because it helps to glow out my skin. But I notice that when I use it alone, sometimes I don't feel the smoothness the way I want it. So I just decided to inculcate rose water into it. Now, how do I use it my own way? I didn't mix everything together. That I didn't mix the rose water into this. What I do is I take a cotton board, a piece of cotton board. I put few drops of this on the cotton board and put few drops of my rose water and then just dab it into the cotton board and I use it on my face. Like I said, I've used this for more than six months. This is, I've been using this, Clarice is quite a pricey face toner, like it's very pricey, so it's not something you use anyhow, you have to use with caution. So I use this with caution and I used it together with rose water, mixing rose water to it, because there's this extreme smoothness I feel whenever I use rose water with it. It's very smooth, like my face feels the smoothness, this hydration, this cooling and soothing effect after I finish cleaning my face mixing it with this clearance and rose water and then there's this smoothness I feel like my face it gets so soft and so shiny once I'm done fix um, cleaning my face with it and then I use my face cream my face cream too uh, um, has some drops few drops of rose water in them so aside that someone also talked about and um, someone made a um, comment on pigmento video she said that she has been using shout out to you if you're watching this video she said she has been using pigmento for years directly on her skin like she has never mixed it with anything she has been using pigmento on her skin directly and that her face is 
so beautiful with the pigment do using it too raw as indirectly on her skin but that's um, all over her body but she notices that it gives her knuckles so you see why i said those things are not advisable to use directly on your skin even though her face is smoother sometimes maybe later you might start having redness it's not necessarily but it's better you mix such products like that with mendo with something now if you want to use such thing directly on your skin you know you can also add rose water to it if you've not seen that pigment do with this i'm gonna leave the link below this video you're gonna see best way to use pigment do now um also that comment prompted me is one of the reasons why i also want to make this i made this video you can use pigment do mixed with rose water to also use it form it into a lotion to apply into your body because pigment do is really thick so you can pour out the whole bottle of pigment do into another container mix like few drops of you know, rose water depending on the consistency you want like i said mendo is very thick so if you mix too much rose water you're gonna get watery so you have to just be checking the mixture so that you can get the best consistency that you want so it doesn't get too watery when you try to drop it on your palm to rub as a lotion on your body okay so you just add some drops of rose water why are you adding this rose water is to prevent any form of um reaction on your skin any form of knuckles any form of maybe um, red pimples in your chest or on your neck or any kind of skin reaction listen guys if you do this particular mixture with pigment do using rose water you're gonna love your skin like it's okay for you to for you to use pigment do as a lotion like maybe for your face and body but best to be diluted with rose water and like i said i can't give you the measurements you want because Pigmento is very thick. Like when I want to use Pigmento to clean my face, what I do is I make sure because it's a cleanser, I dilute it well with rose water to make it like a bit loose, to become a face cream. Now, if you want to use, I mean, to become a face cleanser, it becomes well loose. I use couple like lots of rose water to be able to make it a bit loose, but not so much. Just like let's say i'm using two tablespoons of rose water for instance or four tablespoons of rose water use maybe like three tablespoons of pigment do or maybe four tablespoons of pigment do as well so just make it have that loose effect for me to use and clean my face now if you're using it as a body lotion as you want to use it directly on your skin do not um, use the pigment do directly just add maybe if you have like for instance you have like four tablespoons of pigment do you can add like three or two tablespoons of rose water this is just to balance that activeness of pigment do and prevent it from making you have no cold or any skin redness or to cause you burns or any form of skin reaction these are ways you can use the rose water for a spotless skin now if you use pigment do that way with rose water your skin will be so soft smooth healthy and very natural glow and even if you use it on your face, your face will have this very clear and soft feeling. Your face will glow out and it will gradually, you know, help you to be clearing up the dark spot until you have used it to the point where you know that, okay, it has done the work for you. Then you can be using it every other day, like maybe once every other day. And be sure, let me make this disclaimer here. Skins differ. Some people will use it and it will lighten them like they get more lighter. Some people will do this mixture and it will just maintain their skin color. So it depends on how you add the rose water. If you just want to maintain your skin color, you can add more of rose water to the pigment do and then use it on your face. It will still clear out your dark spot, but it will give you this bright and healthy glow. But if you want to use it to brighten your skin and at the same time to um, glow and clear out dark spot, then you add less rose water to the pigment do. Or you can use skin free milk or any active face cleanser. Even the normal, like this um, normal skincare range, like this brand of skincare range, like all these ordinary, um, like clearings, like clearings, like you know, all the branded products that have names. You can use your, you can use few drops of rose water in their cleansers. I don't know if ordinary has face. Now. I don't know, but I know it is. I know I've heard I've been hearing about ordinary products like it's a product named Ordinary, and I don't know people say it's good. I've seen some reviews on it. You know, some will give 
good and positive or oh, give negative so it all depends but some many times there are ways that when you use this product and they don't work well on the skin you can always inculc inculcate other things to make them blend well to your skin so like i think i've mentioned three ways you can use um rose water to clear out dark spots on your face so if you really enjoy and learn something in this video please make sure to hit the red subscribe button like this video share it of course it will be definitely a help to someone out there and of course do not forget to turn on your post notification bell to always get inspired whenever i post a video and like i said earlier guys do you want me to keep um filming my skincare videos if you prefer the skincare videos please like i said let me know in the comment sections and shout out to all my new subscribers you guys are the realest OGs. you keep subscribing but i don't know what's happening to the views like many of you enjoy watching some of my videos but you don't keep up with the other videos my other views on my videos are dropping like my other videos the views are not so good though like i said they are about my lifestyle videos here in the uk so if given mm -mm, we don't enjoy your life in the uk we want you to keep up with the skincare videos but like i said please let me know in the comment section the kind of videos you want me to film if you want me to stick with the skincare videos pushing out the skincare videos to you guys tell you guys tips on how you can use different products to work on your skin please give me a reply down and also hit the red subscribe button but if you know you do not want me to keep up with the uk videos then you can let me know in the comment section and you can give it a thumbs up you can drop a thumbs up by you know indicating that okay you want me to be filming the skincare videos by dropping a thumbs up in the comment section okay guys so thank you my lovelies for having taken your time out to watch this video and thank you to all my subscribers people who have been subscribing and are still subscribing please make sure you follow it up by also viewing my video don't just subscribe and relax view comment like and share okay guys i love you thank you so much for sticking to the end of this video and i'll see you in my next video ciao